Hey viewers, a while back I made a video um, talking about this, what, it's like a super drink I would like to call it, it's, it's, um, it's a fat burning drink that you drink before you go to sleep and it actually keeps your metabolism running while you sleep and promotes weight loss and fat burning. So uh, it's, and I, I made a video discussing what it was, what was in it, and how to make it. But um, I think I'm about to make my nightly drink for this evening, so I thought I'd show you all exactly how it's done. So for those of you that didn't see the first video, what we take is, first of all, I use the Ninja Bullet, the uh, Ninja Mixer. I have a Magic Bullet as well, but I use the Ninja Juicer. Uh, this Ninja Juicer is absolutely fantastic. As you're about to see, when I demonstrate, it's going to pulverize and liquefy everything that I'm about to put in there. So the first thing we put in there is a lemon. And when I put the lemon in, I put it in with the rind and everything in it. The outer layer is actually filled with nutrients and fiber, which is very good for you. And fiber, as you know, is very essential if you're looking for weight loss. So um, just for sake of size of the cup, what I normally do is just take my lemon and cut it in half, cut it in half again. Just throw it on in the cup, same thing with this side. So we have one full lemon in there so far. Now what I like to put in there is about half a cucumber depending on the size of it um, and what time of year it is you know sometimes they're crazy expensive sometimes you can buy them cheap um, so there's no set amount uh, I'm gonna put in about half of this cucumber yeah. so same thing with the lemon just cut it up so it fits into the juicer because we will be adding some more things to this and we do need to leave room. So cut them once down the middle as well. Give these a fresh chop down the middle. And now we have our cucumber in there. The next thing we're going to put in there is going to be olive oil juice. This stuff is fantastic for weight loss. Um, with this, I usually put in about a tablespoon, but I'm going to eyeball it tonight and just put it in about a tablespoon. Next is ginger, and use fresh ginger. It is so much better for you. What I usually do is I will buy a couple of the big knobs, and I just have a cheese grater and you don't even have to peel them with a peeler or take the outer skin off. Just take the whole thing, with knobs and all, and just run it through the cheese grater. It turns it into this consistency, which is absolutely perfect. And with this, I like to use about a tablespoon as well. And once again, I will eyeball that tablespoon. Now, the next ingredient, parsley. What I usually do is I like to buy like two or three bushels at a time. Um, I like, uh, just cut off the stems. You don't have to mince them up really well. The, gin, the juice is gonna do that for us. So what we're gonna do is, I usually like to buy like three, two, three bushels at a time and put them in a Ziploc bag with a piece of wet paper towel. That way they stay fresh. So, and then this, no set amount either. A handful will do. Parsley is so good for you. Um, it's kind of funny, I was watching an episode of one of Gordon Ramsay's shows, I forgot which one it even was. And um, he had said oftentimes the most 
nutritious portion of the meal is overlooked because it's used as garnish. Usually it's some kind of um, green parsley or um, there's Italian parsley. You can use either or. Now, just to make it a little bit on the liquidy side because you don't want all of that with no liquids in there, I'm going to put in one cup of water. Now that's it for the key ingredients. That's it for your essentials. Um, however, if you wish to add anything that's on the healthy weight loss side, of course there's nothing wrong with that. So what I usually will sometimes do is, um, depending on my daily intake already, like today for example, I did not have the full dosages of my apple cider vinegar. So what I will do is I will put in about two tablespoons worth of apple cider vinegar. If you feel up to it, you can even put in some MCT oil. Um, I already used this twice today in my coffee, so I'm good on that, but um, you can even put a drop of MCT oil in. Mm -hmm. And the last ingredient that I will put in and this is one that I use almost every night, regardless of whether I've had some already or not, is turmeric. Turmeric is a fantastic anti-inflammatory. works very well with the ginger, and it really helps. So I don't use a set amount. I'm just going to dump some in there. That's what I usually do. And then that's it. That's it for the drink. And nice. So I'm going to run this through the map, the um, ninja here, and I'll be back as soon as this is done, only because it's loud and it'll be obnoxious to sit here and just listen to a grinding for 60 seconds. I usually run it through for 60 seconds, and then I'll show you the results. So our 60 seconds is up. Um, just to give you an idea of how loud this thing can get. But it works fantastic. Look at all that stuff that was just put in there. All turned into a nice liquefied state. Now, the taste wise is actually not bad at all. I know a lot of people will probably think that it's disgusting just based on the ingredients, based on the look, but trust me, um, the lemon overpowers most of the taste. So basically what you're tasting mostly of is the lemon. Um, Cucumber is like 90% water to begin with, so you're not really going to be getting much out of that. You'll just taste a little bit of the parsley. But uh, that aloe vera is only a tablespoon, so that really dilutes down to nothing. So... Mostly what you have left is a um, taste of kind of like a citrusy. It's not bad at all. Um, you drink this like right before bed, really, basically. Um, I'll usually drink it like 20 minutes before bed, just as I'm starting to get ready to unwind. Um, I'll take it out of the fridge. You know, I make it now. I keep it nice and cold in the fridge. And yeah, I'll usually take it out of the fridge about 20 minutes before bed and gradually drink it and... Uh, Finish it right before bedtime, but just to show you, that is not bad at all. I would not drink something or recommend something that I wouldn't drink myself. Um, actually, it's quite tasty. I don't know if I've just grown accustomed to the taste over, you know, past year and a half I've been doing this, but I actually do find it quite tasty. So that's it. Um, in the description below, I will leave a list of everything I should put into that. So feel free to take a look. And you really should start making this. Make it every night before bed. Within seven to ten days, you'll definitely notice a difference. I can assure you that. And 
<sighs> Sorry about that. Somebody needed to make a cameo. She felt neglected being not being in front of the camera. That's all for now. Um, I'll catch you again in the next one. Thank you for watching.